Okay, Lori, here we are. Um, great area. Local school is just right there on the opposite corner. And just overall, generally, this is a, certainly a good area of town. Not bad, anyway. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to live here, personally. Uh, property's got a chain link fence all the way around. does have a detached garage. The roof on the front in places looks like it's been upgraded within maybe uh, 10 years. Uh, on the garage, though, it needs a new roof. And on the back of the house, it probably needs a new roof as well. Uh, nice big maple trees here. The, the foundation, it's poured concrete foundation all the way around. So I have nothing negative to say about it in, in that regard. Uh, windows, siding, at some point are going to need some replacement, no, no question. The garage, it's a garage. It's not bad, it's big. Plenty of uh, workspace area in there, no question that way. Um, I think part of the house, like this section of the house, this is an add-on, like that's probably original. This has been built on and it would not have a full foundation under it, for sure. Um, it's a dirt floor basement regardless, a little bit of missing siding there. And that's old roof on the back, on that back slope, there's no question. Uh, but, you know what, it is, it is concrete right there actually. So, and some vinyl windows, no question. Take you right around to the front here again. 200 amp entrance, I took a photograph of the panel. Downstairs, I think it's 200 amp stab lock panel, so that's not bad whatsoever. Um, dirt floor basement. Used to have a hot water baseboard heating system, and uh, that's been removed. So there's the school over there in the kids playground. I don't think you can zoom when this is on video mode, but um, that's a walk around. Yeah, so a lot of vinyl windows here. Some of them are still the originals. That's uh, access into the lower level. So uh, you don't have to go down through the little crawl space that I am going to show you. Big living room. Plum for a uh, uh, wood stove there. But it was a hot water baseboard heating system. Nice entrance. It's a big house. You're definitely going to need at least two uh, mini splits if you're going to heat this thing properly. So big living room here, hardwood floors, they could use some resurfacing. If you stain them dark at the same time, it'll blend any of the blemishes. Good size room here too. Probably use carpeting in the middle there. That, I've seen that happen before. So carpeting is given out. People just put plywood down so it's easier to maintain. Open area here. That's that entrance into the lower level, and you can't really see it. You just have to take my word on it. It's crawl space, maybe four feet, five feet tops. Uh, the electrical panel is down there. Structurally, I'm not a structural engineer, but it's really not that bad. That's the kitchen. I'll show you that in a second. This will be your back entrance. There's a half bath here. Flush there, sink behind the door. This is the shortest ceiling in the place, which is about six and a half feet. Everything else, though, are very tall ceilings. And big kitchen, eat-in kitchen, big island, uh, lots of pantry and counter space, dishwasher plumb there. You know, actually a really nice kitchen. Uh, no issues there. You. Um, and a really nice staircase as well. It's going to get kind of dark here, just so you know, but not much we can do about that. So there's your upper level. Two bedrooms out here. Darker paint job. These are big rooms, so you can see where the uh, hot water baseboard used to run. And other room here. Good tall ceilings. I know there's a slope there, but uh, those ceiling heights are close to nine feet. 
And then another room right here, smaller than the other ones. Pretty decent though. And a large master. This would be up over the kitchen. Same square footage as the kitchen. They got some built-ins there. It even comes with a TV. Not warranted working, obviously. Looks like somebody put their foot through it. These buildings are as is, where is so. So this is the upper level bathroom. And just so you know, I don't know, like they stole all the light bulbs out of this thing by the look of it. It's a jacuzzi tub. Uh, ceramic tile, surround, a little bit of plywood on the floor. Um, it's a big bathroom. Sound like a salesman, right? Big rooms. It's it's actually a very large house. Um, you're better off throwing money into a house on this location than you are in the one that we had previously looked at. I do like this staircase. Looks like there's been a lot of new drywall put in, and uh, you know it's still going to be an expensive home to heat because it's a big old home. You know, you, you probably at some point in time you got lath and plaster walls, and that's just something you know the, the plaster. Um, realistically. The, the exterior wall should be stripped from the inside and re-insulated. Just go room by room. Other than that, um, not a bad house. The basement should be insulated too. But it is poured concrete uh, for most of it. I don't think, I, I think this is just up on a little hip wall or a knee wall. But uh, big kitchen too. That's it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.